Hey, what up? It's Tampa Brad, and I want to admit something today. I created coronavirus. Now, when you hear me say that, you're probably like, are you serious? I actually am serious. I created coronavirus. And so, obviously I'm not serious in saying that. I didn't sit in a lab and create it or like sell the wild animals at a Chinese market. But, that said, if for the sake of the thought experiment, is it not useful to think, what if I did make this happen as a part of, some people would call it manifesting something or speaking something into existence. Could it not be that what we're going through in the world is actually a massive opportunity to do all the things that it's allowing us to do? For example, I know that in my life, I've just been pounded by the, the go, go, go of running a business that's churning up in, in its success. But what that forces you to do is as you focus on running and being in the business and taking care of deals and stuff like that, then you lose time that you need to build the systems in the business that then allow it to function even better and scale and get bigger. I've been like just needing something to come in and give me some free time so I can work on those systems. And all of a sudden, here we go. We're in a national you know, pandemic and everybody can't do things and it's like everything is a little slower now. We can't do as many in-person meetings because we don't necessarily want to be in people's homes if they're not comfortable with it. So in a manner of speaking, I absolutely do believe, even though, you know, do I necessarily believe this? If you put me on a lie detector test, nah, maybe. But to some extent, I do absolutely believe that I spoke coronavirus into existence, at least in my life. I needed something to take the pressure off and to give me some time to think and also to put the economy into a reset. I've been, I actually legitimately have been just praying for something to take us off of our economic spike that we've been on for nothing else other than to create a buying opportunity. If you have, if you're not aware, all the biggest companies and all the greatest fortunes that were ever made were made or started in a recession. The greatest fortunes on earth, most of them were created during the Great Depression. If you think of families who have generational wealth, they started what they were doing. They started buying things up in the Great Depression and in the, uh, the ensuing time. And so if you're not taking this as the biggest opportunity of your life, frankly, you're just wasting it, man. You're just wasting it. What are you doing? Why not instead of, you always have a choice, right? You always have a choice as to whether you're gonna see it as, oh, this is a crisis and this is the worst thing and oh my God, how, what are we gonna do? Or you can say, hmm, okay, this is interesting. This is a little different. What opportunities are there that I haven't had in a long time? Look at the stock market, for example. Super simple, so easy to understand. If you have any cash at all, you should put it into stocks. Even if it's even if we're not even at the bottom, and by the way, this is not investment advice only, not, not be held liable for any investment decisions made based on that advice. That said, I have to put that disclaimer in there. That said, you should definitely buy stocks right now. They're down what, like 50%? How is that in any way, that doesn't make any sense, that in no way indicates the value of the underlying asset. It's the perceived value of the underlying asset that's gone down. But guess what? The iPhone 12 is still gonna come out in 18 months. We're still gonna get, or I don't know what cycle we're in, 24 months, whatever it is. The next iPhone is still gonna come out. Apple is not worth half as much as it was three weeks ago, okay? The things ha haven't changed that much in value. People are still going to buy the next iPhone and the next iPad and MacBook and whatever else. People are gonna keep going. Life doesn't isn't just gonna stop, especially when you consider the fact that people are freaked out about infection with the coronavirus. Let's talk about the actual results of the coronavirus. What are the documented side effects? I mean, what are, what are the consequences of having it? To be honest with you, I could have it right now. I don't even know. I have some chest congestion. It's not that bad if I do have it. And from what I've heard of other people getting it, I'm not a doctor, whatever, you can decide for yourself. I can see Apollo getting frustrated with that on behind the camera. But that said, there's so much concern with infection, there's not concern with what are the actual consequences of infection. A lot of people are failing to ask the question, so what, on both ends. And so what I would encourage you to do is figure out why and how this is an opportunity for yourself. Figure out why this is the greatest opportunity probably in the history of your entire life. Think about the things that you could take advantage of right now that you haven't been able to before. If you have equity in your home, I'll, I'll give you a very personal example. That house right behind us, that's my parents' house. I'm literally helping them through the process of getting an equity line on that house so that they can buy investments, so they can invest in the stock market with that freed up cash. 
it's because they're not going to get another opportunity to buy into companies that have improved their values so much at such a discounted price, potentially ever. And with a, such a steep drop off, the, the percentage change is so crazy, it's completely obvious that it's a blood in the streets kind of crazy mania sell off, not based in actual market fundamentals. Now, will we go into a massive market contraction because of this? Sure, absolutely, 100%. However, are we well equipped to just bounce right back because we haven't actually necessarily lost anything? Our economy has not materially changed 100%. So, that said, people are gonna get laid off. It's, star it's already starting, but it's gonna come back. So, if you're in an opportunity where you have any financial wherewithal at all, look at where the opportunities are. Think about what you can do to add value during this time, add disproportionate value. Start creating content, start putting your message out there and use it as the greatest opportunity, which is what it really is. It really is the greatest opportunity we have seen definitely since 2008, maybe in our entire lifetimes. So use this as what it is, a massive opportunity and see what happens. Appreciate your attention. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.